Hello friends. It's time for our online card class today. And um, that means you get to learn how to make three cute cards and have a chance to earn the card kits for this card class. We're gonna make a Taco Fiesta card. Super cute. We're gonna make a um, Playing in the Rain, Rain or Shine um, card using the stamp set called Best Family Ever. I think that's what it's called. Hold on. Yes, Best Family Ever. And then we have a Seaside Bay card. So very cute cards for card class today. I hope you will join us. And when you put in an order with me, you'll get some free card kits. Super fabulous. All right, let me turn you down here so you can see what we're making. All right, so once a month we have our card class, which means that you guys get to learn how to make three cute cards using some stamp sets that we're currently selling. So we have um, this cute card and it uses the best family ever stamp set. So we'll start with that and we'll get to our others. <clears throat> While I'm getting my box here out with all my goodies. You can see here, my name is Kay Cogville. My business is called Paper Made Prettier. I would love for you to support my business and purchase uh, something from my online store. You can jot down what items you love today. And then I will send you these card kits for free. So this is a perk of Card Club Week that you'll get to earn card kits for free. And if you spend $50, so $30, you get the kit, six, $50, you get a free embellishment. All right, so this first cute card, we're going to create features the Playing in the Rain designer paper. You may notice this stamp set, it goes with it. And I'll, I want to show you this stamp set just because um, it matched the designer paper. And you can cut out gobs and gobs of these cute little critters, okay? And there's tons more patterns in this designer paper that you'll love. But to me, that's the focal point. And these dies were so popular, they're sold out, but they're back in stock, all right? But I'm actually bringing in a whole different stamp set today called Best Family Ever. And the reason is I needed a cute sentiment that fit in a tight corner. And that, this is one of my favorites. I think this is a stamp set that you might overlook in the catalog because it, it doesn't just like, it's not, it doesn't go with the suite, so it doesn't like pop out at you. But I have used it over and over because it just fits in all the right places and has all the right sentiments. It's on page 62 here. So you can see how versatile it is. You can pair it with other things. And um, that's what I've been using it mostly, is to pair it with, with sets that I do love playing in the rain, but I feel like it needs a few more sentiments to go with it, especially you're in my thoughts. So to me, this sweet little, sweet little guy with his rain umbrella, he's, he's thinking of you because you're in the rain right now and he wants you to be in the sun. So that's why I chose that stamp set. All right, these cards are simple. You could make these at home and you'll be able to earn the sets uh, of kits when you put in an order with me. Say hello, I would love to see who's here. Always love chatting with my cuties. All right, so you're gonna start with a piece of thick white cardstock. Now we just did a little something different this month. We're gonna have this card open up this way, all right? And we're going to fold that over. And then we're gonna use our Memento Black Ink. And I chose the stamp that says, You're in my thoughts. You could also put a congratulations. So I'm gonna go with You're in my thoughts right now. And you're gonna get that as low as you can on that. And then we're going to Do our, our next step is to uh, adhere a tiny piece of this um, 
design our paper to our card base. Now, the measurements for all of these projects are free to you when you subscribe to my email list. All of the information on subscribing to my email list and all of the materials used to make these cards, the, the stamp set numbers are all in the information here on Facebook or YouTube. So make sure, check that out and you'll know all the measurements for this. Now, we figure out the quickest way to do this is to take our adhesive and run it down. You're not gonna go all the way to the ends, but you're gonna run it all the way across there. And then I've just got circles cut out with my circles dies of this cute designer series paper. Now, you do wanna go off the edge here. So you're gonna go one here, one here, and then overlap it a little bit here. This is super cute. Now, all three of these cards were designed by uh, people that I swap with or follow on Facebook. I will make sure and get the names of the people that I case these from on the email when I send this out. My apologies, it's retreat week. So that has slipped my to-do list, but I will get that out to you on email. All right. And we're going to pop this little circle. Now, you'll see your packet will actually contain a die cut circle using um, e both the turtle and the dog. So you'll have one of each. And um, actually, I wanna use the turtle for this one because on the dog one, I'm gonna use the, the congratulations because he's like skipping and happy. But on this one, I definitely want to use your In My Thoughts. We're losing up, using up that last bit of our dimensionals here. And we're going to pop this guy just right there. So it's, it's a neat way to use our circles just to kind of give it a little anchor there. And we have a cute and simple card. So we're just going to make sure those circles go off the edge. And then you're just going to trim those off just like I did there. So you'll be able to make two cards, one with the turtle and one with the dog, when you put in an order with me. So, put those aside. All right, let me show you some other projects made with this cute uh, suite. It's called Playing in the Rain. These are a lot of swaps. Oh, look, here's the swap I got the idea from. Betsy Kreider, yay, I'm so happy. So that is who gave me this idea. And as you can see, I tweaked it a little bit. I just wanted to give it my own flair. But you can see you can color these little shapes and you can die cut them or you can die cut them directly from the paper. How cute is this? She popped up that little shell. We've got dies that make the little branch. These, the little fronds there. This is a card I made for a swap. Oh my gosh, who can get enough of these little circle dies that that picture this dies? I mean, can you imagine the squeal from your friend if you sent them this card and they were having a bad day? Of course, their day would immediately improve. Am I right? All right. So, make sure and add the playing in the rain stamp set and bundle. Now these dies are available and also the best family ever stamp sets to your list. Now, just so you'll know, today we find out what from this catalog is retiring. So that's another reason to go ahead and get what you want now because once that list comes out, it is like crazy town to try to make sure that you get everything that you need before it's gone. All right. Well, hello, Debbie. Good to see you. Um, all right. This next card is made with the Seaside Bay stamp set. And I loved this card. I got a swap from this, or maybe I just saw it online. But it is so gorgeous. I love the structure of it. It's just so different than anything that I typically make. And so it just caught my eye and was immediate winner for the card that we were gonna make in class. So like I said, when you put in your order, you'll get the goodies to make these cards. So here's how we're gonna construct this card. You're going to start with your 
rectangle. And I used a stitched, sh stitched rectangle here. And we're gonna set these aside. And then you're gonna pull out your squares. Oh my goodness, so cute. So we're going to, first we're gonna just gonna, I would call it like rough, rough cut, rough cut here. We're gonna lay out our squares. And actually I like these fish better. So I'm gonna do that. Lay out our squares until we like how they look. So you're gonna do fish and stripes, okay? Now you're gonna have enough to make two cards there. So you'll you'll have a total of 12 squares of that designer paper. And then what I would what I say next is to just rough, rough assemble the cards so that you kind of know where the squares go. And this is where you don't you don't have to measure it, you just use your eyeballs, okay? Just use your eyeballs to see like a equal space around the squares and equal space between the squares, shift it a smidge. So we'll do that. And then my recommendation is to stick these down one at a time. So I'm happy with my squares now. And then what I'm gonna do is, and you wanna, like I said, these need to go horizontal and then our fish, like we don't want our fish to be swimming up into the air. Now gently pick these up. You don't wanna pick them up really hard cause you'll bend them. So you're just gonna put a smidge of adhesive on here and gently lay this back down. And just a tip, if you're not sure about your ability to get those straight, then don't smash them down, just set them down and then you can always pick it back up. But you see how I'm not like smashing these squares, I'm just gently picking them up so that I don't bend them or twist them. And then they'll go right back down and this pretty. So it's kind of like a, it's almost like a mini sampler because we're squaring them up and putting them on the rectangle. And if it's not absolutely straight, don't stress because when we get that sentiment on there, it's gonna cover up anything that is bothering your eye. So that does kind of, so now we've got our six little squares in our rectangle and we've got one more piece that's cut with the stitched rectangles dies and we are going to use this ink color is called soft suede and I'm going to make this be a sentiment, heartfelt sympathy. Um, you can also use thank you for everything and you can even use the you are pearl rare and precious super cute You could even stamp a few little pearls on there if you use that one But I'm gonna use heartfelt sympathy. I think this is really a great card because it doesn't scream like uh, male female it's very uh, neutral there So it's always good to have a card that you feel like you can send to everyone that you know and we're going to pop this little guy up with dimensionals onto our rectangle here. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to put this whole sweetie onto our card with dimensionals like so. I just think that extra pop made it look good. It's it's kind of a, I don't know, it just looks like something you'd see in an art gallery. And then just the finishing touch of this card that makes it so cute are these polished rocks, okay? These fish are swimming down the stream and they're swimming right past these polished rocks. And you can put one or two, depending on how many come in your packet, um, you'll have those little polished rocks to, to stick on there, so. Isn't that adorable? Love it, love it, love it. So um, you'll get those two cards in your packet when you place an order with me for the card class. $30 order, you'll get all six free card kits. All right, here are some other cards that I have in my collection using the um, Buy Seaside Bay stamp set, okay? And this whole stamp set is on page. Look, huh? 
This is on page 22. We got to see this stamp set um, in Arlington when we went to the on stage. Oh, it's just dreamy. It's got all the prettiest stamps. This designer paper is fabulous. It's a six by six paper. That's where I got the designs to make all of that. I'll show you some highlights of it. This is about three packs of the paper because I did get a lot of it. Your dies are gonna cut out these cute little birds. I'm sure they're like, I don't know what kind of birds they are. If you're a ocean lover, you can tell me, but it just goes on forever and forever. All these cool prints. Of course, this is more than one package, but you get the drift. Beautiful colors. You can make lots of cards with that designer paper. All right, so we've got just, I'm going to pop you through. You can see how these cute dies in here are going to cut out that, um, see, the little bird gets cut out. But you can make these little seashells and lots of other cute things here. We've got a neutral card here. We've got that pretty ribbon that they've colored with pearl, um, petal pink. You can sneak in some pool party into this suite if you want. It's also very cute. Look at that. You can die cut and um, emboss with these dies. And then they've got these little flat pearls that go in that suite. Got a cute fun fold here. That sweet little bird. Again, you can see how those dies just cut out those cute things. So you definitely want to go ahead and get the whole bundle of Seaside Bay as well as the dies. But then also... Um, some of that designer series paper and the information on that is in the um, the information here on Facebook and YouTube. So, and I realized that I, that's why I paused. I told you the, the number for Seaside Bay, the stamp set, but you want to go ahead and add on the dies um, for the bundle. So I'll update that and make sure that bundle item code is in there. If you ever have trouble ordering something doesn't seem clear just message me on facebook i am i am a facebook girl and i'm there a lot so you can find me there all right next is um our taco fiesta card now this card i saw online and again i'll get you the names of the people that design these cards afterwards but I love, love, love the stamp set. My friend Erica Serwin designed it. She is a million dollar achiever. I'm so proud of her. She is a fabulous friend and fantastic designer. Cannot, cannot express how talented she is. And she designed, in my opinion, the perfect stamp set. We've got the cutest sentiments the most adorable drawings, but also these five faces. We can go Ted Lasso. We can be just pleasantly happy, surprised. It's your birthday. Holy guacamole. We can give a little winky face and then just a very pleased, happy face. Okay. So lots of things. And so all these little faces can go into our little drawings here. And I was kind of surprised to learn that, like, she got to actually, like, sketch and draw that stamp set. So, um, I hope to sell a million dollars someday. You can get me started today by putting in an order online here and then earn those free kits. Every dollar towards a million dollars counts, right? <laughs> All right, so Taco Fiesta is what we're going to make this card with. I'm starting with a crumb cake base. And we're going to stamp some peppers onto our base just for happiness. Okay. I'm going to get out all. I used a lot of the stamps on this card. Grab all that out. Sorry to reach across the camera. Okay. So we're going to start with our large and small chili peppers and our crumb cake ink. Isn't this odd how my crumb cake looks green? It's not. It's crumb cake. All right, so we're going to go large um, pepper here, and then we're gonna fill in with our small pepper. And we only need it to be just right here on this edge because we're gonna use a lot 
other stuff onto this card. So you're just getting, oh, that was sad. Let's try that again. Come here, you little pepper. All right, so we're gonna just get some peppers in the middle left-hand quadrant of that card. And then I've already cut out a piece of Parakeet Party, one of my favorite in colors, with, um, I've cut a strip and then used my basic borders dies, okay? You wanna have these dies in your collection because they make the cutest things. I mean, this is a cute card, but that border just really makes it pop. So we're gonna do that. And then I've used a strip of designer paper from the in color 2022-2024 in colors. So that was the this Tahitian Tide and Starry Sky. And those are our current in colors. So they're not going anywhere. Um, and I'm just gonna stick a smack of that down. And we're gonna line that up here. Super cute. And then you can use one of two things. Your packet, it'll just be a surprise what you get. You may get some of this um, crumb cake or you may get some of this twine depending on what your kit has. But I'm going to go ahead and use this crumb cake ribbon. And you're, if you get the crumb cake ribbon, you're gonna tie it in a knot, okay? It's thick. So to me, a knot is better because it doesn't make so much bulk. It's not a thick ribbon. I don't want to give you that. It's called burlap, but it is not, it's only burlap colored. It is thin and really works great for cards. So, but I love it when I just tie a knot with it. Just what I'm doing here. And we're gonna give that a little trim just so it won't be fuzzy. Okay, and then we're going to next do our stamping with our little guy. So we're making a little taco, a little um, cactus guy. And you'll see when I stamp with these clear stamps, they're called photopolymer stamps, we're gonna make sure we have a Stampin' Pierce mat underneath. So make sure you've got one of these in your stamp collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the holy guacamole at your birthday because I love birthdays. So we're gonna stamp that as far down on this circle that I've cut with these stylish shapes dies. Then we're gonna stamp our little cactus here. And then we're gonna stamp his sombrero. Now, if you're tricky, you can do it a little bit to this side. I had more luck doing it just straight on. And then we're gonna give him our Ted Lasso face. He's gonna be a cute little um, mustache guy. If you haven't watched Ted Lasso, you need to. It's the funniest thing. It's on Apple TV. It's, it's just the greatest show on television, in my opinion. All right. Now, we're going to color Mr. Um, what's he got? What's he called? Um, cactus. Now, I'm going to start with light parakeet party and give him a whole layer of light parakeet party. Now, you could do just that and be happy, okay? Our blends are buttery smooth and they fill up the space without any, um, what you might call, streaks. But we can get a little bit fancier with our blends. So they come in a pack. So this would be a pack of two of Parakeet Party. We're gonna get some depth here. We're gonna come in with some darker here, okay? And then we're going to quickly, and actually, let's just for grins right here. And then we're going to come in with our light, and we're just going to color until there's no, like, boundary there. So we're just kind of smoothing that out. We're going to color that back in. So you can see that gives it just a little bit more depth when we use both, when we use both colors but you can use just one and also be happy. We're gonna color the top of our sombrero with um, So Saffron. It's also a perfect color to use on those tortilla chips, okay? So if you don't have So Saffron, you need to grab that for your collection. And then we're gonna pop in with some Sweet Sorbet. It's just a really pop of Fiesta color on here into that sombrero, all right? And this whole situation is gonna get popped up to our card. 
with Stampin' Dimensionals. So here I recommend one on this side, one on that side, and that really just splits that ribbon perfectly and all is well. So holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Now, you could also use the, the guacamole stamp here, true, um, or the spectacular. I just needed more birthday cards, and so that's why I pulled in that stamp set. But let me show you some other projects using the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Now, I'm lucky enough that Erica and I are dear friends, and she made me this cute little present. Um, I can't believe I haven't eaten the gummy yet, but I just, it's so cute. I just can't. It's just adorable. It's a little treat. My friend Cindy Griffin made this cute card using some different colors. Now, this held a little seed packet um, from the Dollar Tree of hot pepper seeds, but I gave them all away. So, um, and I made this video last week. And just a tip, I have the corrected dimensions on the, fa the YouTube because that was kind of a dumpster fire. Um, you can see these, uh, this picture, this again, makes the cutest little cards. And you can stick whatever it is in each of the little circles. We have, this is a, a card that we made for, these cards kind of go together. I found these all on a girl, I think her name was Lynn. I'll get you the name, stamp set. I mean, on her website. But this uh, in color designer series paper works great here. We've got our little taco. And then the my featured card is from my friend Erica herself. She made these cards to hand out at the event where she introduced this stamp set. So I'll treasure this card. It's gorgeous. She even has her million dollar stamp on the back so i'll i'm just very proud of this all right so i hope that you enjoyed today's card class um just to recap we used taco fiesta we're gonna make this little guy the little cactus we used seaside bay and the by the bay designer series paper we used Best Family Ever stamp set with the Rain or Shine Designer Series paper. You can get these stamp sets on my store. $30, you're going to get the six card kits shipped to you in the mail. The deadline for this is Monday, so don't snooze on that. This coming Monday. And then the orders of $50 or more will get a free embellishment. And don't forget to subscribe to my email list here so you can get these PDFs for free. All right, bye friends.